Hello, my name is Timothy Polio, and it's my pleasure to present to you the following video abstract on behalf of my co-author Andrew Rippinchuk. Our paper is on the multi-norm principle for linearly disjoint Galois extensions. The multi-norm principle is a local global principle for products of norms, which generalizes the Hasse norm principle. We say that a finite extension of global fields L over K satisfies the norm principle if every element of the multiplicative group of K, that is the norm of an idel, is actually the norm of an element from the field L. Then by analogy, we say that a pair of finite extensions L1 and L2 of K satisfies the multinorm principle if every element of the multiplicative group of K, that is a product of norms of idels, is actually the product of norms of elements from the fields L1 and L2. Despite having many applications, the multinorm principle is not fully understood. In particular, it can be difficult to determine if a given pair of extensions satisfies the multinorm principle. The main result of our paper says that the multinorm principle holds for every pair of finite separable extensions with linearly disjoint Galois closures. This is significant because older sufficient conditions for the multinorm principle all assume that one of the individual extensions satisfies the Hasse norm principle. Our result shows that this assumption is unnecessary. The idea behind our proof is that we should try to relate the multinorm principle to the norm principle since the latter is better understood. Our argument uses the tate shavarevich group, which gives the obstruction to the norm principle. There is a nice cohomological description of the tate shavarevich group in the case where L over K is a Galois extension, which is obtained by applying a series of isomorphisms from group cohomology and class field theory. Our proof is based on the following reduction, which we obtain using class field theory. We show that it is sufficient to prove that the map phi of tate shavarevich groups is surjective. Furthermore, it suffices to consider this map only in the case where our extensions are Galois, so we can rewrite all these tate shafarevich groups using the isomorphisms mentioned before. The map phi has a cohomological description as well. There is a map in cohomology called the deflation map, whose construction is dual to that of the inflation map. And it turns out that the map we're interested in, phi, is induced by a product of deflation maps. By keeping track of how the deflation map is transformed by the isomorphisms that we use to describe the tate shafarevich groups, we are able to give an alternative description of the map phi in terms of cohomology groups with integer coefficients. And ultimately this allows us to prove that phi is surjective.